Today is May 23, 2024. I've just been to the Israeli consulate in Hong Kong to protest about what I consider to be genocide currently taking place in Gaza. I just want to protest, ask Israel, stop killing women and children. Understood. Can I know the whole of you? Yes, I can give you my name. My name is Father John. Can I have your name? Yes, I do. You can do what you must do. I understand. I understand. I understand. I think America and Israel are committing a genocide in Israel. I understand. Genocide. Okay. Just like what the Nazis did to the Jewish people, they have this Israelis are doing to the Palestinians. Same thing. Okay. Stop. You need to live together. No more war. No more killing. Okay. Thank you. Stop. Shalom. I join my effort with those of people around the world, especially university students, and particularly in the United States, to try to stop Washington and, and Israel from continuing to kill innocent people in Gaza. According to the latest statistics, it's around 15,000 children, more than 10,000 women, and yet the United States continues to supply weapons and bombs to Israel and Israel continues to kill people. Another 10 or 20 killed yesterday, including children sheltering in a school and some in a hospital. It's really tragic and I join my voice with those around the world, even in the last day or so with governments of Ireland and Spain and Norway, in trying to stop the carnage. Um, I think it's terrible what's happening. Some people deny it's genocide, but according to the United Nations, the Amnesty, uh, doctors, doctors Without Frontiers, and the International Criminal Court, Criminal Court uh, genocide is in fact taking place. This is particularly tragic because what was done to the Jewish people last century by the Nazis, the Israelis are now doing the same thing to the Palestinians. It's unbelievable and it's done with American support. So I just lend my effort to those of people around the world. Only thing we can do is try to protest, try to influence the decision makers to stop this madness. I even go so far as to say that Israel and even the United States should be banned from the Paris Olympics. Israel for the genocide and for America for being complicit in the genocide. Um, I think it's as bad as that. And if, and if Israel is not banned from the Olympics, maybe some countries could hold a alternative Olympics. Countries like the three mentioned, and also South Africa and some South American countries. Maybe they could have a, a Gaza Olympics somewhere, even divided up in different countries to do something to protest. The only thing that seems to work is protest. Only way to influence influence decision makers is protest, peaceful protest. So I pray God's protection on all those protesting. And I pray that God would move the politicians all around the world uh, to try to stop the madness. I realize there are good Jewish people in Israel, in America and other countries. They also are very concerned. They've been joining protests in their own way. I just hope soon, very, very soon, as quickly as possible, the killing, the slaughter stops and somehow or other the two peoples, the Jewish people and the Palestinians, can work out a way to live together, uh, each with its own state, a two-state solution. And once again I'd say maybe, maybe China is the one to be the mediator in bringing about some sort of ceasefire and permanent solution. Maybe China with some African states helping. This is my prayer, that peace, peace on the Holy Land, no more war, no more killing. I belong to an order of priests called the Oblates, and um, it's in our tradition to be a voice for the poor and a voice for oppressed peoples. And I'm not claiming to be in the same status as some of our famous priests who've done this sort of thing, but they are an example to me. People like Archbishop Dennis Hurley in, in South Africa, he was very strongly supportive of Desmond Tutu in the effort to end apartheid in, in South Africa. I think of Father Karl Kabat in the United States who was against the nuclear movement. Um, 
and this is something that my congregation believes we should do, speak up about injustice, be a voice for the poor. So my little effort here at the Israeli consulate and also twice at the American consulate is something along those lines, trying to imitate the examples of people like Hurley and Kabat.